What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Inner Channel One, and welcome back to more Mafia Three. That is right. So I want to apologize. Um, the part previously, I guess, just had a lot of problems going on with it, but uh, we're back to making the normal video. So everything should be back to 100% complete and normal, and we're going to continue on. Toretto's not going to take any notice unless you do some real damage to the Doc Union. So since we are continuing on right where we left off here, let's get into a. You. Let's load up some stuff here. We have a few more things to finish. I had to kind of quit uh, this kind of like randomly almost. Let's go ahead and do this one since it's um, Get something. No very close to us here. A tough strap of cloth Let's just grab any car inside. here. Oh yeah, this is uh, what a vehicle, huh? Turns like a dime. Not so much. So good news, I just got hello. You can follow some enemies back to targets of opportunities by telling them keep an eye on the tailing meter driving too close. Let's make sure this is even Alright, so you can't set a wave point for it, so let's de wave point this. This is not really the kind of vehicle you'd want to do this with, but since we just saw this kind of show up on our screens, we're like, hey, why not? We'll do it. So, if you weren't able to watch the previous video for some reason, we met up with Vito again. From Mafia 2 and we've added him to our ranks so right now we're doing a few missions for him um, we're trying to help him we're, he's not on our side just yet we have to do a specific objective to get him to be on our side and that's what we're kind of doing here It's, uh, it's funny how they always um, know who I am at, at all times. The, the cops shouldn't like uh, turn blue because of me, you know what I mean? Just be, I'm in a random vehicle, they don't know who I am. But I know I heard something. Oh, fine. Don't come. I thought we were able to get him there, but I guess not. I got a feeling we ain't alone. I am sick to death of this rain. I think he's over here. Hmm? I want to check out what it is. Could be something real bad. Yeah. Wow, we didn't even kill him. Although it says it's... Alright, so we ain't done with this just yet. Alright, so we got a few more people. Because of this guy right here. We're gonna take this car too. Oh fuck. I got enough to worry about. Oh. Right now we got it set to non lethal. Huh? Let's try over there. You boys see that? Cover my ass! Alright, so... Cover, cover for us! 
That's all we get. Might as well take out some people. Alright, so that didn't work the way we wanted it to, but no big deal. We got the money we needed. Sometimes it's got to get a little hairy. And let's take this bad boy. Oh, I like that window. Contraband. But that's not who we're working for right now. We're working for here. Trying to get that veto missions going on. Now this car drives like a beauty. Watch where he's looking. Have them IDs and your dues ready, fellas. Cash only. You got anything for me today? Always. If you're waiting on your appointment, the line's over here. We had to do what we had to do. We wanted to do it as stealthy as possible, but too many variables. We really didn't even do that because uh, we were already in this place, so. Is that it? Alright. So, uh, for those of you that want to know, I did just get a GTX 1080, so let me explain a little bit about this. Um, so, I just bought some new furniture from rooms to go which is a, an American company, I guess, uh, where you can get furniture things like that. And the package deal that we got with the living room set had um, either a 65-inch 4K TV or uh, $800 gift card from Best Buy. So, what I decided to do was, I already have, like... <laughs> So, so many TVs um, that are 4K, that are just everything. So I decided, you know what? It's time for me to get a better graphics card. I've been running with two GTX 980 Ti's, but I do not like running SLI because, well, there's just, all right, crap. Because I do not like running uh, SLI because there's just too many things that could, that could go wrong. Well, that's a horrible parking job by me, but... Um, so I decided, you know what, let me get a 1080, 
and let me see how it rolls. And uh, I gotta say, um, I'm a little weird. At, I'm a little ifed right now. Um, I've got a 14-day trial on this, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm seeing um, definitely getting better frames, obviously. What a pile of horse but I'm seeing uh, some some things going on that shouldn't be. Um, uh, screen tearing that shouldn't be there. Um, What's he sneak around for? Hey, God damn his fucking heat. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is some awful, awful screen tearing. Uh, at the bottom. And that's, uh, I don't know if that's from the graphics card or not, but, uh, maybe since the update, it's kind of weird. It's running at 60 frames a second right now, so it shouldn't be doing that, but... You got anything for me today? Come on. It's been the same story for the last damn week. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Huh? Help help. Wow. Again, my fault. Should not have happened right there. Don't you stay on there? No, 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 no. Should be good. Let's get back in our nice car. You've done enough to damage and draw out the racket boss. If you're ready to go after him, then you return to your contact for more intel. Or if you want to pick up more cash, go after the remaining forces, target of opportunity. Remember, any force you're left alive will be waiting for you alongside the racket boss. Man, this car is like so much better. Okay, so what would even have left right now? So we do have one, two. But we're, we're going to go ahead and do it, though. Work at the dock union. I'm surprised Toretto's not out. Mr. Ward is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer. And if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. All right, here we go. Confront Toretto. So like I said, every now and then there's some uh, screen tearing at the bottom, which there shouldn't be because I'm running this at 60 frames a second right now in 1440. They did a patch uh, for PC so you can finally run it at better resolution or better uh, frames per second. Um, so I'm, I'm really not, I don't know if you guys see the little stuttering at the bottom there, but... Never like that uh, box. Can we just print up some more? Jesus Christ! Look, that's how it works. Those little slips of paper tell us who owes what. All that shit. Besides that, it's making us look weak. To who? The working men. They see us getting fucked. Won't be long before they think they can join in on the fucking. Anyhow, only thing you need to worry about is shooting that colored asshole if he decides to come back. Hmm? Somebody there?
I wonder if there's another way in. Now this one might be might give me away because look at the angle that he's at. Miss huh? I think we're good. All right, sweet. Hands off. Excuse me. Must be losing my goddamn mind. Watch it, you cooyah. Huh? There we go. Just the fact that this game has a whistle makes me just so excited because this whistle comes in handy so freaking much. For a guy like me that wants to do as much stealth as he can. Alright, so we've got him there. We need to get in there. I don't know if this is going to take us over there, but we're going to find out. Nope. Ooh. Must because we already have this gun, so... Alright. Try, come on back. God only knows what it was. I'll try over there now. You see that fucker? Guess we're seeing things. Huh? So where is this guy at? I'll try over there now. Oh, he's all the way over there. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we took out, I think this was one of those, uh, the mob guys, one of the bosses.
two choices. Work with me and Vito, or die right here. Fuck it. All right, I'm with you. Well, since Greco ain't here... <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> wow. So, he killed him anyways. Now, that was pretty cool. Bobby's three-person squad is armed with shotguns and a machine gun. We're going to assign to Vito. It looks like that's all we can assign to. Associate path. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and of course, I will see you on the next video. Peace out. Mooches. Well, today I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here. And the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets.